Welcome to the CA Advanced Authentication Mainframe video. In this video, we discuss how to enable PIVCAC smart card authentication. Multi-factor authentication is a method of computer access control in which a user is only granted access after successfully presenting several separate pieces of evidence to an authentication mechanism. Administrators can require users to log on to ZOS applications through CA Privileged Access Manager by using a personal identity verification or common access smart card followed by a CA top secret password or password phrase. A smart card is a credit card sized card that has an embedded microchip and one or more certificates. The information on the card identifies the user and the certificate also includes the user's private key used for asymmetric cryptography. To enable PIVCAC smart card authentication, configure the PIVCAC CAPAM client and CAPAM server. Start the multi-factor authentication started task. Activate multi-factor authentication services. Define permits for controlling authentication by facility. Then add, modify, or remove factor authentication data for an ACID. As an administrator, you want to mandate that users be authenticated by using a common access card or a personal identity verification smart card through CA Privileged Access Manager. To begin, activate the CA PAM factor for use by facility. To allow the user to sign on with PIVCAT credentials, you assign a permit that gives the user read access to the appropriate resource in the IBM FAC resource class. Next, you define a permit to give the user use access to the necessary resource in the CASE CMFA resource class. Next, you add a factor to the ACID and include user mapping that maps the CA top secret user ID to the associated user ID that is defined in CA Privileged Access Manager. Now you can list the portion of the ACID record that contains factor authentication data. Now the user can sign on with PIVCAT credentials. After installing the CAPAM client, the user brings up the client. Click Connect. Ensure that the smart card is inserted into the reader and is available for use. Then click Login. The user enters the PIN that is associated with his or her specific smart card. Within the user information, ensure that the username matches the PAM name parameter value that you specify when you add a factor and user mapping to the ACID. The user can now select the application and can supply his or her CA top secret user ID and password credentials to log on to the application. As you can see, the validation and sign-on are successful. When advanced authentication mainframe is configured, users can sign on to ZOS applications with the appropriate multi-factor authentication credentials. For more information about CA advanced authentication mainframe, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the CA top secret product page. From there, you can go to the product documentation, visit the CA support or CA community sites, or see the learning path. Thank you.